Hello! Welcome to day nine of NaNoWriMo. Uh, my name's Ulysses. I'm doing the NaNoWriMo challenge live on Twitch. Uh, usually 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and then whenever I can, Friday through Sunday. Those are days, those times get a little, uh, a little hard to track. But if you want to catch me when I'm streaming, uh, just follow me in the socials. They're in the description below. Um, all right. So day nine, today's talk writing talk is about flaws heroes and villains uh w flaws are very important when you're talking about characters uh flaws are how your character gets into the conflict that they find themselves in and flaws exist in every character uh, or versions of them uh in every story uh whether it's a character's inability to see the consequences of their actions, whether it is a character's inability to say no when they really should, uh, these kinds of troubles really make for relatable characters. For some reason, we find it really hard to relate to people who are like too perfect. They almost don't seem human. Um, when a person is just crushing it hundo p all the time they seem like more than human or at least uh more than what is possible to relate to flaws however you hear the term it, it humanizes uh characters when we see flaws in them and th that quality is really important to harness for your story because one of the greatest payoffs for your main characters is seeing them overcome their flaws and uh that is how really very important characters become eternal in your mind how you remember them uh brandon sanderson had these wonderful series of lectures and <laughs> He put it very plainly, but overall, people don't really care about like the overarching plot of your stories. I mean, there would be some, I mean, obviously it's all preferential at the end of the day, but like in general, people don't stick around for like, oh yeah, they're on this epic quest to do this thing. And it's really cool. It's a part of it. But what really people are invested in are your characters and like, oh, my favorite moment was when this character did this and then he grew better because of it. Or uh, he got with uh, the person that he had been longing for for a really long time. People attach the characters and don't really care how they grow. They just like seeing them grow. Uh, flaws are an excellent way to prime a character for change. The general journey that a character will go through over the arc of a story again storytelling is very malleable so you there's no like one right answer but this is like in general this is how a story goes a character has a flaw this flaw gets them into trouble of their overarching goal the character tries to pursue their overarching goal uh and slowly grows in power or slowly becomes more knowledgeable and then when they're at the breaking point, they realize that their flaw uh, can be overcome if they make a better decision. And then the character then makes a decision to overcome their flaw. They learn to be better. And then that is the end of the story. That is like the like the most general arc that you can get. Obviously, there's like tons of variations on that. And uh, the reason why that is a very general thing is because it works. You know, he re a character realizes that, uh, you know, maybe bringing back their significant other isn't worth uh, losing a friend that has helped them for a really long time. Think of like the Dungeons and Dragons movie. You know, the guy is uh, the main character is so obsessed with bringing back uh, their wife that when uh, but then when approached with the decision to either you know bring back their friend who's been more of a mother to you know his daughter than their his actual wife he makes a decision and then that's a very memorable moment for that character 
so yes, it, point one flaws or point really like points one and two flaws really help your character be be relatable and attaches readers to your character to see their journey. Uh, now let's talk about villains. Villains are so interesting. Um, I, I find villains to be harder to get down than protagonists because there's so many flavors of a villain that exist and it's hard to really nail a base template that uh that nails all of them down of course like the most basic one that you can say is that protagonists or sorry antagonists or villains are people who oppose the goal the goals of the protagonists right that, that, that is an easy thing to say so uh, villains of course oppose the uh, protagonist but i think something that i have been thinking about a lot is villain flaws and really and like i said this is the very basic arc of the story uh, of a story is the difference essentially between the villain and the hero is that the villain is unable to overcome their flaw. In fact, they succumb to it. And their inability to overcome their flaw is usually what leads to their downfall. Uh, and you take the protagonists in this basic arc of the story, it, it is because that they can approach and accept their flaw and then realize that they can be better, that they get a leg up on their, um, on the villain. Uh, this is this is like the most anime thing that happens. Like the power of friendship kind of follows this, um, where you have a villain and you have the hero. Both are incredibly powerful individuals. The villain, in general, does not recognize that uh, he has allies or has chosen to forsake his allies because he sees that he is the sole proprietor of how the world should be. He's abandoned all connections. And he says, why would I need connections when I can hoard all the power for myself? And then we take the uh, hero who maybe has that mentality at first. is like, I need to save everyone. It has to be me. But then when he comes to this ultimate precipice, he's like, no, wait, my friends have given me this power. It is because of the power of friendship, quote unquote, that I'm able to uh, overcome my troubles. And it's how I will overcome this. Magical friendship powers happen. The villain loses and everyone's happy. That's like the very, that's a very anime-esque uh, arc, but it happens a lot because it works. It works. We, uh, we're reminded it's like, oh, hey, we are not alone in our journeys and we should be appreciative and we should accept help from those that uh, want to help us. And that's good. So uh, that is, I think, an important aspect that villains have is that they usually cannot overcome their flaws. Uh, in your story, and that is generally their ultimate downfall. Uh, again, storytelling is very malleable, and there's infinite amount of variations on how to take that, but that is a very basic way of thinking about flaws and what they can do for your characters, your villains, so on and so forth. So, um, thank you for coming to listening to me. I stream writing every day, 5 p.m., Monday through Thursday for the month of November. We're getting NaNoWriMo done. Um, Follow me in the socials uh, below. Subscribe, even. And um, yeah, thank you. See you around. <laughs>